morning. Yeah. That's right. It's the evening. And good evening, America. It is, of course, compared to one stoner. Scotty got the evening off. Scotty don't. Scotty do. Scotty did. Scotty gone. He'll be back. Don't, don't get it twisted. Another week, another show, bro. In the meantime, we may or may not have a fill-in guest. We're not sure yet. We'll see how that works out. But in the meantime, I digress that the show must go on and we must go on to the next topic. And the next topic is the first topic of today. We're going to be talking about, of course, in the second segment, I should say, we're going to be talking about tennis. And we're going to be talking about Ben Shelton and, of course, Coco Golf. But before we can talk about those great kids that are just taking America by storm. We have to get into the real topic today, right? So let's just play, get to it. It's time to it. Mm, that's right. Time to get to it. And our topic today, well, it's pretty simple. First off, brought to you by Quality Peak Customs, right here in Colorado Springs, handyman and remodeling. That's right. Check them out on Facebook, Quality Peak Customs. You know, you give them a call, 719-964-6871. Give them a call. Check them out. That's right. Quality Peak Customs, Handyman and Remodeling Services. So, let's get right to it. we got some relatable stuff going on here today. So, I guess the conversation for me has to start off today with that Big Pharma is making this humongous push and it's to what many of us believe is the modern day version of a land grab on cannabis. First, we're going to get it made where the people aren't allowed to have it. And then we're going to turn around and we're going to snatch it up and make it our own. And I, and I do, do have a concern because I like that if I want to on my own property privately grow it I don't want to have to go to the grocery store unless I want to go to the grocery store right it makes sense to me that I want to grow my own cannabis that I want to to do my own thing and I, and I want to do it my way and I think that sometimes at the end of the day we forget that when you see a big grab like what Big Pharma is doing, you have to be concerned that it's because they're taking losses and they're constantly taking losses. And the reason these folks are taking losses is because just like some information I was able to dig up, that Big Pharma loses money. And just to give you a good example of it, it says that um, Big Pharma is... Um, getting into other markets and they are collectively trying to combat cannabis where they can and then get involved where they are not. And the reason why we believe this is because there's a current study, a study that was done technically uh, about a year ago, but it's current enough that we can look at it and say that that study said that um, the pharmaceutical company stood to lose $21 billion in sales um, after November 8th of September 2020 because of ballot measures that were on ballots last year when there, when the uh, midterm elections took place back in November of 2021. And so there are people that are, you know, extremely concerned to a degree that uh, Big Pharma is going to lose money. And see, here's the thing is, I don't care. I'm like, okay, so you're going to lose money, Big Pharma. Good for you. I'm glad you're losing money, Big Pharma, because you know what? Here's the thing is, Big Pharma, while they do do great things, and I don't want to get away from that, because for instance, I have gout, and there's a medication I take for that so that I can actually eat food, and you not not worry too much about that, and not worry about the flare-ups that come with it that are, 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 the pain is brutal. It's like being stabbed with a million knives at one time. It's brutal. And so, I can say that there are good things that come from Big Pharma. I mean, half your family members that are overweight, let's be honest, let's just hit this with the right with the right cut that, that are diabetic would be dead. 
Because how are you going to live if you don't have insulin? Right. That's why it's one of the drugs that was passed by the current administration uh, that passed drug caps on it, because there's a reason why, because you shouldn't have to die. You shouldn't have to worry about dying to get life saving medicine. Um, and that's even more important than even the medicine I get. But look, big pharma doesn't do all bad. I, I just can't get on that weirdo. I call it a weirdo train because they're like I said, all right, you're right. I don't need medication with my gout, but I literally can't eat half the fucking things on the planet. Seriously? So Big Pharma does me a small titty tat favor and I take a titty tat medication called allopurinol and it helps me get rid of the 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 acid that builds up in my body that causes the gout, okay? And um I I can tell you that it's not hereditary. I did I don't believe anyone in my family that I know of had had gout or has gout, but I do. Um, it, it may, it, I do believe that it is absolutely adherently due to my knee and ankle injuries in, in my youth and early adult life, because I can promise you on my soul that I have gout in both knees and in an ankle. Um, and, and I'm pretty sure that it is utterly related to injuries in both those knees and the ankle. Right. So. I can't get on that gravy train that big pharma is the devil, right? They're not great. Don't get me wrong. It's like, a, you know, it's, I don't know. It's, it's just, it's a necessary evil. It's, it's what I, I tell people. It's why we have like special forces and nuclear bombs. It's a necessary evil. I don't find it necessary, but it's an evil necessary that the government and the people around us find necessary. And so it is what it is. I don't even want to get into that argument or debate today because we go down, down the damn rabbit hole and I'm not trying to do that because Mr. Trey don't do that. Mr. Trey has conversations. Usually Scotty's here to argue with me, but he's not feeling up to it today. And that's okay. Sometimes people don't feel good. But Scotty boy, he wants to probably go for big pharma. No, I'm just playing. I'm not saying he would, but there he could attest that there's just sometimes you have to do what you got to do. I mean, there's only so much weed can do. There's only so much, you know, natural remedies can do. People forget that part. See, I believe... If we're going to cure diseases, we have to look back and forward. We have to look in both directions of the situation. We have to look at ancient, you know, remedies and then also combine them with modern modern technologies. I, I believe that that might actually be closer to the answer than any loon tune horse shit someone can tell you, in all honesty. And I, I don't mean I'm looking for an answer. I'm just saying that might be closer to the answer. I get very extremely concerned with the whole system. Now, it's a complicated system, right? Like, when we talk about big pharmas, you know, want to go after cannabis, when we talk about that, when we discuss big pharma's big push to grab hold of, you know, what I refer to commonly as the cannabis version of a land grab, you know, it started as the wild, wild west out here in Colorado. Then it became, you know, sort of small time business. Then it became small and big business. And, you know, then now we see it's kind of leveled out. And so now there's going to be this awkward addition to the situation. So, look, I'm going to tell you the truth. I think that scheduled three is too, too far still. And that's what this whole conversation is about. I think that the, 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 the big pharma wants this drug scheduled as a drug regardless and rescheduled or reclassified at a new scheduling because it does have medicinal values and it should be reclassified. But I don't feel I'm ready to take, you know, THC pills. Like they, they, they actually tried to make a, 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 what do you call it? A fucking um, synthetic. There we go. That's the word. They they made a synthetic THC molecule and it's shit. They couldn't sell the pill because nobody fucking wanted it. It's trash. Side effects are the side effects that you take cannabis for. So you basically developed a molecule that's supposed to be the same as cannabis, but because it didn't grow in nature the natural way, it has these weirdo side effects, right? So here's the deal. 
I love this statement that's written in Marijuana Movement. Give them caption credits. Love ya. Um, Marijuana Movement says, do I hear crickets? It must be Chris. He's the only one to be sitting outside in the freezing ass cold in Michigan today. Hey, it's not freezing. Really huh? Oh, it's cold here. It's only like 66 all in the daytime here. You call that cold? I call that freezing cold. Freezing. <laughs> Where am I from? from? Like originally, though. Like, where do I, I'm dropping, dropping, I like palm trees, like man. <laughs> but how did you deal with Germany then? Uh, I was a kid. Uh, I, was a kid. I froze a lot, though. I didn't like it, but, but I did. <laughs> you didn't have no choice. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, what am I going to do? My parents got shipped overseas. <laughs> well, you've probably chimed in about at the right time because I'm talking about Big Pharma. And I don't know how much you actually got in here. But. Gotta love Big Pharma. But you got to control your mute when you're talking. That's definitely feedback. Sky had feedback too. It's weird. I might have to. I'm have to check around. I don't remember having this much of a problem before, but it could be because once Scott switched to headphones, it went away too, though. So it could be that you might. It does say you're supposed to be on headphones and mute yourself when you're not talking or something like that. So it doesn't make sense. But those crickets was lit. I did like them. So, so back on track here. Let me read you this. As I was going to read our listenership, this as well, the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services is officially recommending that marijuana be moved to, from a Scheduled 1 to a Scheduled 3 under federal law. This historic development means that top health agencies no longer consider cannabis to be a drug with higher abuse potential and no medical value. But Scheduling 3 would keep cannabis federally prohibited. Rescheduling it would create um it would just remove barrier a lot of barriers you know what i mean for access to study for this and that you know there's a lot of different things that you know a lot of different barriers that cannabis seems to face and we've seen it over the years you know everything from um you know not being able to study its medicinal values oh it doesn't have any well then let us study it oh no we can't let you study it well, so well, here, here's the thing though they you can't there are colleges now starting cannabis studies we've covered they, these things yeah they have released some of the regulations for testing and 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 stuff like that the dea is also building a 300 million dollar facility in new mexico for testing research supposedly all right that's actually that's, actually, that's pretty tight and if it's dropped down to a schedule three that will will release all um stigmas for all colleges for testing it doesn't have to be totally decriminalized federally and i think the reason why they're touching on that is because they're worried about interstate commerce with cannabis well I think that what people in the in the different you know realms of um, uh, shall we say um, decision making and township and things of that nature, the thing is, is if you if you want if you don't want cannabis where you're at, right, and we do where we're at, right, then 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 it has to stay a state's right. I think that the descheduling is good in the sense of you get in less trouble for Schedule Three drugs. But do you? Uh, yeah and no. <laughs> we know how that I works. Mean, I mean, we've been through the justice system. It's like, okay, so if my parents make enough money, I get away with it. I mean, I get that. Right. I mean, both you and I know that in the criminal system, if you can pay for a good lawyer, you're pretty set. If you can't, you're rolling your dice. Right. And, and I, I think that, you know, while I'll give the Biden administration credit on this one because they are the ones that, that said that because of data and science that they wanted an expedited process 
and they wanted an expedited response to President Biden's directive to the Health and Human Services Secretary Becerra um, that provided a recommendation for scheduling to the DEA who enforces these laws against the American people. And that was on August 29th of this year. Uh, uh, that's when the directive was given. So it didn't take long for this to start to catch fire. You know what I mean? Right. You know what? If you do a little bit of digging, the government has already done all these tests and research. Oh, there are hundreds, almost thousands of doctors and scientists that have backed research that was done under the radar to confirm or disconfirm the whole reefer madness problem you know it's you know it's maddening about reefer it's just so goddamn good and it's fun i'm smoking it right now (laughs) it is fun to grow if you have the time to sit there and do that it is fun the food and drug administration is you know obviously anything you consume is going to involve the food and drug administration as well um well, how, because they're good you know, how do stuff goes into so ed- heavy of regulations on something like cannabis but look at all the garbage we put in our food facts so i found an article that talked about a big pharma group purchasing a big area or big, you know, big player in the cannabis group, right? And now that link don't work. Oh, wait, never mind. I'm the problem. Okay, that's fair. I mean, Chris, how many times has that come out to fruition? <laughs> right. Let's try that again. Here's what I wanted to. Sp- so, I, of course, love to do a little bit of digging. And a little over a year ago, in February of 2022, there was a little article that came out on newsconscious.com, uh, news.conscious or or whatever, newscision.com. I don't know. This is why I post the links in our, in our current live active chat on the show. If you're not live active chat on the show, well, shame on you, sir, ma'am. Anyway, I should probably post that in there just so I don't look a dinkus later. So anyway, uh, the link basically goes into an article um, that discusses Pfizer's, you know, Pfizer. We're talking the same Pfizer that came up with the vaccination, right? That they announced a purchase of Arena Pharmaceuticals and says that they meet or exemplify a satisfactory acquisition within the CBD medical treatment industry. So what you're seeing, or at least what I'm hearing and reading is, is, is that, you know, and of course the announcement came in December of 2021. Um, and then of course this comes out in February of 2022. And here we are over a year, a little over a year later. Right. And what you see is, is, is that there is a play by big companies like Pfizer, who's a big, big player in the pharmaceutical company. I mean, guys, these guys are literally responsible for the vaccine that helped save a lot of our lives. Uh, You don't have to agree with the vaccine, but it did save a lot of people's lives. And so, I mean, honestly, it's not lost on me that the minute the vaccine came out, uh, deaths went down. They didn't go away, but they went down. People are like, but but it don't work. And I'm like, oh, it doesn't, does it? (laughs) You know me, though. I'm a smart ass and a prick about it. Um, I don't think you have to go get a vaccine, but I'm telling you right now, if you give me shit for fucking doing my own thing and you want to do your own thing, you're a dick. I just think we should be assholes and, you know, poke fun and debate it. That's the best way to go about it. Oh yeah. You have to talk about it. I mean, because regardless of what other people think, I mean, people are going to do what they want to do. Well, there's someone out there that agrees that Pfizer should buy CBD companies. Like. You don't have to like it if you're part of the, you know, down home, small town farm and kicking it on my tractor way of weed. If that's who you are, then you don't like that. But there's people out there that are all about that big pharma life. 
Well, it, and what's really weird is I'm surprised pharma hasn't gotten into the CBD market already. There's, I think there's other smaller companies that were willing to take on the risk and I bet were somewhat successful. But there's, but, there's really no risk. Well, name risk when you have, when you're backed, you know, you got to look at, think about stockholders and things like that too. Like they're publicly traded. There's a lot that goes on behind that. Yeah. I guess that is a big problem with corporations that got more than one person's hand in the honey pot. Yep. yep. This is this is why you have to be careful because companies like uh you know like guys like Elon Musk, you know, if he's got a company that he owns outright with his own money, that's one thing. But if he has shareholders, then the decision he makes impacts other people who own the company in a sense. Because when you own shares, you are own the company. Right, so I do like to make read... it a lot harder for these companies to try and dove into these markets and make a profit off of something that's huge. Yeah. Maybe that's why we haven't seen Big Pharma jump in yet. Or maybe they're just a bunch of big old snakes. No, I'm just playing. Well, it's probably a lot of people on the board that don't agree with cannabis in any form. Which is dumb. I thought Big Pharma was about that Quan, that money, that, yeah. that, 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 that idiot. Colorado, Michigan, and Vegas are on track to hit a billion dollars in sales in the next year. I mean, you really have to be blind or fucking dumb. Let's just call it what it is. Now, I would like to point out what Schedule 3 means slashed is defined as by the government, to be fair. Okay? So, I, of course, you know me, I'm old school. I pull it straight off the DEA's page, which always makes me super comfortable to be on their website from my computer. <laughs> with, my, with my Bob Marley backdrop and a giant fucking weed leaf. Yeah! Super happy to be here right now. Peeking it's out for research, blinds. you fuckers. It's for research. Peeking out the blinds as you're doing research. Yeah, no shit, though. Seriously. Sometimes when me and Cammy had to look up, like, different trials and murders and stuff, I was just like, you know what? We should probably wait till we're at the radio station to look that up. <laughs> <laughs> so, so the flag doesn't show up. Right. I'm like, let them get flagged for that. Fuck that. We're just doing a, a news article. Like, I guarantee you I have to be on at least five or six watch lists over shit I've had to look up just for having a radio show. Now, I probably got off them because they were smart enough to look into me and go, oh, he does a radio show. He's not a threat. But I like I don't I didn't I don't block my my stuff. I'm not in, I'm not into weird shit. I watch normal porn like everybody. Just figured we should full disclosure and clear the air. I mean. If the DEA is going to watch me, I mean, just know, I mean, I like porn. It's, you know, not even really. I just wanted to say that so they'd go look into that. <laughs> All right. So what is a Schedule 3 drug? Well, according to the Drug Enforcement Agency's website on DEA.gov, um, post in the link, of course, it's a list. I have a list of all the schedulings and what they mean here. Of course, it's easy access stuff. If you take five seconds, you can actually look it up yourself and not be lazy, but I got your back. So there it is in the link. Um, it's in the live feed because that shows credibility to the show. Um, so anyway, schedule three drugs, substances, or chemicals are defined as drugs with a moderate to low potential for physical and psych logical dependency schedule three drugs abuse potential is less than schedule one and two drugs but more than uh three four or more, more than four and five i'm sorry uh some examples of schedule three drugs are products containing less than 90 milligrams of codeine per dosage unit like tylenol coating ketamine antibiotic steroids and testosterone that's where they want cannabis to fall in And that's crazy that the drugs that are in that scheduling zone. Well, I think, we, didn't we go over this before? Oh, yeah. So Xanax, Zoma, Darvo, Darvacet, Valium, you know, all those, Tramadol are all scheduled for. And then scheduled five drugs are 
cough preparations, less than 200 milligrams of codeine. So like Robitussin AC, not the one you can get over the counter. Um, or maybe you can get that over the counter. I'm not sure. No, I don't think you can. Because of the codeine. Anyway, uh, Lomalatil, uh, Motrophin. So I, I just, okay, so it, it it obviously has to be listed as something that can inebriate you, right? Like, like we all have to be adults here, Chris. So are they going to put alcohol on Schedule 3? Well, hold up. Now, see, now that becomes the debate between is it medicine or is it not? And in this case, can it be both, right? Right. Because can it be recreational, like like alcohol and regulated by the tobacco and alcohol and firearms division? But can it also be medication? And in both instances, like, for instance, if you think I'm suspected of doing something wrong and you come to my house and you knock on the door, because you don't need to come with, like, all that crazy shit. Just knock on the fucking door. I'll open the door and answer. You can come in and look around with the fuck ever you want. As long as you got a warrant. I mean, honestly, I'm just going to let you look around my house because I'm not fucking stupid. But if you have warrant. a warrant. Yeah, you got to have that paperwork, though. Let's be honest. But if you've got that paperwork, you know, I'm bounded by law and I'm an honest, law-abiding citizen now. I say now because I've made mistakes in my life that would clearly object, could be objectively, objectively looked at as that I was not always someone who followed the law. But I will also, full disclosure, 90, what, what do I mean? Can't we come up with like 99.9% .9 of everything I've ever done wrong in my life surrounds drug abuse? Well, see, I asked the thing about alcohol because, like, here in Michigan, you can yeah. actually get charged on the same level as alcohol for being high on cannabis while you're driving. So it's a DUI here. Same here. However, they they have to prove it, and they have to prove that you consumed within reason, and it's really tough to prove. Not here in Michigan. The nanogram level that they have set for cannabis in Michigan is so bloody low that a common smoker like you and I, there's no effing way you're passing. You know what that, you, you know, someone needs to do is take that to the uh, Supreme court all the way to the Supreme court, because th this has already been, you know, um, like done and reaffirmed cases have been, you know, um, appealed to all the way up to the Supreme court on stuff like this, even cases on smell and smells not grounds for a search. How about the fact that you decline a search of your vehicle at a traffic stop and they bring a dog? Oh, yeah, that's great. B because the dog is a cop. That Did dog not give, actually I, not a cop, and that dog is a weapon, and a weapon of war against people in most cases. They are used in some cases for good reason. Don't get me wrong. Don't right. get me wrong. But, at, like, sicking a dog on somebody who's surrendered? Shit like that, like using dogs to find fucking a, a fucking joint on an old lady, like fuck you, fuck that. But in cases of bomb sniffing dogs, like I don't disagree, not at all. Oh yeah, without a doubt. But you know what I'm saying? If you're bringing that dog to the traffic stop to try and see if there's narcotics in the vehicle, regardless whether it be a cannabis or something more illegal, that dog is a police officer. I did not consent to a search of my vehicle. And if you smell something outside, I can see that scent again has been settled by the Supreme court. Now there are States where they're still prosecuting people searching over scent and all that. But I digress that while you don't have to agree with me, Oh, wait, no, that was the Colorado State Court. I got in this argument with someone else, and I was wrong. So, no, the Colorado Supreme Court has settled that. But I'm telling you, the Supreme Court should take that case up. The, pro the but problem wait a minute. with that is, is all the uh, Republicans that are on the Supreme Court. It's very conservative leaning right now, and that's not good for pot uh, litigation. And it's probably why you're not seeing a lot of cases being brought. Because the thought is the forethought is 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 that um, at best you're gonna get an even keel. At worst, you're gonna get the door slammed on your dick. Right, and that ain't gonna feel so good. Yo, yo, like on some real shit. <laughs> All right, so I digress though. Big pharma, big land grab. It's very got me big nervous. But I also got to go to a big uh, commercial break. And um, 
But when we get back, man, we got to get we got to have a discussion. I don't know. Now, listen, I don't know if you know what this show's about this week. The other half, the not weed half. But my man, you're going to have to know about tennis. Okay, I lied. You don't have to know about it. But it wouldn't hurt you. I mean, if I'm being completely honest, it wouldn't hurt you to know about tennis because that's what we're going to get into. Youth phenoms killing it for America, for them, for them, for it all. You know, it's pretty cool. It's, it, it got me a little excited for tennis, and I'm not even big on tennis. Let me tell you. Funny but, fact. I oh, used to play tennis in high school. Oh, fun fact. I picked it up as an intramural sport in high school for funsies just because I had time, but it was, they actually played tennis when football was played. So I would never have played it. Not as a sports sport. Man, that's how I screwed my knees up. But I actually enjoy tennis. It's really fun to play. Really fun. High cardio. High cardio. That's, that was my name in high school. I'm just playing. That's a lie. That's actually a lie. All right. We'll be back after the break. Look, everybody loves creativity, good food, and hard work. That's why it's so easy to love Sam's Creations. Sam's Creation is award-winning cannabis food creations. Find Sam's Creations on Facebook and Instagram with Sam's with a Z, Creations with a Z. Or place your order today at 719-283-1701. Hey guys, it's Chuck. And Dillinger. We're from Control Alt Throw Against Wall. And we have many, many exciting topics coming up for you uh, in the coming weeks. Uh, we got Muppets. We got more MCU. More MCU. Uh, we definitely got to talk about that Quantum Mania. Don't uh, forget about Muppets. Muppets. They're gonna, we're going to do a big Muppet show. But we got lots more other. If pop culture keeps creating things, we're going to talk about it and getting high in the process. And, and definitely getting high. Uh, we should probably really learn about more stuff. But Play with way, our Muppets. Yeah. Find us. Subscribe to us. Uh, check out our show wherever you can get podcasts. And uh, we're thankful you all are here. Yeah? Yep. Peace. All right. Bye. Trey gonna be that old guy in 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 them in pebbles and 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 khakis with a butt. I've been saying this for how long? <laughs> like I can't step outside naked. We jumped into the river. What did you do? Did you run the river? I jumped in. River, in. I let yeah. autocorrect make me look stupid on Facebook every day with Luxembourg Bargo. I can't do it. It's Luxembourg. Oh okay, yeah, sure. That's what they all say. You trying to give me the hump, do the hump, the hump, the hump. Oh, oh, look at you, girl. <laughs> tracking app on it and it found that who that is actually using that <laughs> welcome home gentlemen from the fourth infantry division fourth ID. Yeah, yeah. i think he was trying to be funny but it kind of escalated i think he was trying to hit her on a discount oh, oh. <laughs> my name. it's time for blunt football time in trouble gets away mahomes racing with the bad Inside the My concern is that Kyler doesn't come back until late in the year. And so- Parsons on the move. And like a Parsons is on. He's not- hey, tell me you didn't grow up in the projects without telling me. I grew up with a Jason. Third and long. It's Von Miller. Putting his stamp on this one. Good for you. <laughs> I hope it fucks your life up. Uh, I hope you fail. I hope you fall flat on your face. I'm like, these are my friends. Oh this Thank is you us. A good ball comes out of his hand. Toward the end zone. Picks I'll definitely up. have the Baltimore Ravens. Nobody feels bad for <laughs> Deshaun Watson Put coming back and having terrible in performance. J.K. Dobbins' hand. the damn ball. The man. Yeah, Kittle. so that's. A, I, think that's the, yeah, yeah. I think the Chiefs are going to totally dominate. And the Kansas City Chiefs have won Super Bowl Fifty Seven. This is football talk. That's pro football done. Unprofessional. That's fun. If you're looking for a cut, trim, color, or just an updo, check out Jamie at Rebel Hair Art. That's Rebel Hair Art on Instagram. You can book with her at 719-262-9011. That's at Studio One Salon, 262-9011. It's time for Two Birds and One Stone with me, Mr. Trey. That feel-good show to get you going. I woke up so motivated, so motivated, I can't even lie. Can't lie, I've been stressing We're not in 
in a position where we should agree. This isn't an easy subject, and that's okay around here. You see, I got all my game from the streets of California. Young nigga. I'm not questioning anybody's intelligence. I think we're past that. I'm now questioning the ethics of the situation. So what we smoke me. We're just having fun. <laughs> I can't even believe it. I had to hang up on that guy. He just said he used weed that wasn't decarboxylated to cook. I can't do you today. Yeah, my mind, they say it. You could ask yourself an insane question. What if I'm not on any side and I just want the truth? This gift is a curse. Forget the earth. He's got the earth to pull his dick from the dirt and fuck the whole universe. I'm not afraid. Hey, maybe we can have a debate over what successful is, but I can tell you one thing. I know I was meant to do this, and no one's going to argue that. He said when you want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe, then you'll be successful. Get success. Back. Nice to be back. No flats on the Cadillac. Hey, nobody, nobody else can find that. So, learn something new about Chris. You never know what you're going to learn about that guy. Interesting character. So, something's kind of winding down, y'all. It's going to be it's literally a mere, a mere week, week and a half, week, week and a half before the solstice. Ten days, twelve days. I don't know what it is, like, literally. But I'm guessing. But, uh, it's been a good summer, man. Chill summer. It's been a good summer for two teams in the United States. That's our next subject. The U.S. Open. Oh man, how much fun was that to watch? Oh wow! So I don't know what happened. To this. I might have lost. Are you here, Chris? Yeah, I'm here, but I can barely oh. hear you. Oh, oh, that's weird. I turned myself back up loud enough. <laughs> All right, can you hear me now? There you go. Okay, that's weird. But I'll take it. So anyway. <laughs> Oh, I dropped the tap in, sir. Tap in down! So, I don't know, you know, everything about that. I mean, I know how to keep score, and I know how to hit the thing. Um, it's a lot like, I, I like racquetball more, actually, if you don't know the truth. But until you get pegged with one of those racquetballs, then you don't like racquetball anymore. Let me be honest with you. But, um, or at least you don't like racquetball for like two or three weeks. Shoot. You play pickleball yet? No, but nobody wants to play with me. I'm so mad about this. Oh, that sucks. It's fun. Yeah, no one wants to play with me. And Cammy's like, we're not pickleball people. And I'm like, but we can be. <laughs> How do you know unless you try? Right? How do you know you're not a pickleball person unless you be a pickleball person? So it's whatever, Cammy. It's just... <laughs> All right, anyway, I'm just kidding. Um, So... How is she anyways? Don't mind me asking. Oh, Cammy? Oh, she yeah, she's fine. She's grandma life in it. She don't like doing radio shows no more. Man, we got to get her in here for at least one or two. Actually, I have a topic coming up in, I think, next week that I told her I want her to be on and she never answered me, so there's that. Maybe I should message her. Yeah. Be like, hey, foe. Um... So first, I want to talk about Blake Shelton. I mean, not Blake Shelton, Ben Shelton. Sorry, don't Blake know, Shelton's no. a country singer. <laughs> but anyway, Ben Shelton is six foot four from Atlanta, Georgia, and is only twenty years old, right? Um, technically when he was playing in the open though, he was only 19. He turned 20, like, like, like literally a couple of days ago. Um, absolutely a stud. 
probably the first reason in 20 years to get excited for men's singles in the U.S. If I'm being honest. Came in as a rookie in the U.S. Open. <clears throat> Highest singles rank, though. He's been ranked as high as 19. He's been ranked in the men's doubles rank as high as 84. But, Chris, this kid, man, he's really... Um, dude is different. You know what I mean? Like, dude is just different. And I think people are really excited about tennis for once, especially on the men's side, you know what I mean? And we haven't had something to be excited for on the men's side. We've had lots to watch on the women's side for years with the Serena sisters, with the Williams sisters, I mean. Um, yeah, they were killing it for what a good decade or better a couple decades yeah um and so he he actually lost in the semifinals to novak if he had beaten novak he would have played in the championship um he's young he's got some you know he's got some learning to do of course obviously but uh He's really good, and I hope that he lives up to par. You know what I mean? And, you know, like injuries and things and life derail people's careers. It's true. But I hope he really lives up to the to the build because he is absolutely a phenomenal young man. Right. For a rookie coming out in the U.S. Open, he killed it. I mean, absolutely. For, for as far as he made it being a rookie and a young gentleman in a new sport, you know, like you said, it, it made men's tennis more exciting this year. And it's going to be interesting what comes from him. And, I mean, to go down to Djokovic, I mean, seriously, you went down to Novak, bro. Like, it, not only did he go on to win, but he tied the all-time uh, slam mark winning for slam marks. He's tied Margaret Court for the most in history. So I'm like, guys, like, that's not something to be upset or sad about, right? Um, but I'm going to tell you right now, there's something to be super glad about. And that's a little young lady by the name of Miss Coco Golf. Because let me tell you something. That little girl, not only did she kill it, not only did she kill the tourney, not only did she beat Arania, I'm probably going to mess up her last name, but I'm going to go for it. Sabalenka. I think I got it right, though. I think I actually got it right. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> so she's from, is she from Russia? or? Um, so she didn't have a country flag, so I'm going to assume she's Russian. <laughs> right? No, 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 no. Stop being a dick. It's because... They're allowed their players are allowed to compete, but not under the Russian Federation flag. And that's kind of a good thing, though. I mean, for her. I mean, honestly. I mean, but no, I'm not sure if she is. I mean, I'm gonna be honest with you. Let's look her up on you know what? We can look her up. Find that out. Well, no, because I got like I got US Open pulled up, so I could just look her up. Uh Saba. Dang it. I don't know how to spell her name. Right. <laughs> I love your name, girl, but I ain't going to lie to you. How do you spell it? You know what? That's what copy paste for, my brother. That's what copy paste for. Copy. You let me copy? All right. Okay, be a buster. But anyway, you're still going to lose. So let's go look her up on our tennis search for players. Enter. Don't tell me that. She's literally top-ranked full player profile. Here we go. Where is she from? This is how you figure stuff out, man. All right, so it's like fake Russia. That's why she, it, she didn't have a flag. Also, it's she's from Belarus. Okay, so she's not from Russia, really. But yep, and her highest ranking in women's singles is number one. 
She was number two in the tournament. Coco was ranked, I think, didn't she? Wasn't she sixth? Yeah, she was sixth. But what a, what a, I mean, Coco Goff. I got to, so I got the chance to watch her because she just happened to be playing when I had some free time. And so I was just watching her and I was like, wow, like this kid. And I, I also watched <clears throat> Shelton, same thing. And I was just like, man, these two kids are going to have me watching like British, US, and French tennis opens probably for the next 10 to 15 years if they live up to, to, to the to the build. You know what I mean? Right. If they can avoid major injuries and stuff like that, too. You know, setbacks, long term, anything crazy. Yeah. Exactly. But let's get back to the real topic here. So let's talk about Chris playing tennis. I got I to gotta learn more about this. I, I just feel like as me being a sports fanatic, I have never mentioned tennis, to be fair. I have to have a reason to be excited for it. So I just haven't had anything to watch in a while. Yeah. But you know I'm a girls sports fan. Like, I love girls basketball. I got a, I got a WNBA team. Go Mercury. Um, I, I, I like women's soccer. I'm, I'm mostly Team USA and the Chelsea women's team. Um, I do not have a USA team, but I would like one. So I'm, I'm just saying, ladies, I'm, 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 I'm a single soccer man in that sense. Oh, I got to be careful to say that. I came out. He's in the studio tonight. Well, she's in the manager's room, but whatever. I just, just should come around the corner and be like, Did you fucking say you're single? Like, no, 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 no. I meant for, I don't have a women's soccer team, so I'm soccer single, and I'm looking for a women's soccer team to pick me up right. as a fan. Yeah. I don't know who that team's going to be, but um, I know that there's not one around me. So yeah, it, it kind of, yeah, it sucks that, that we don't really have soccer arenas in the States. I mean, there's one where I live. It's little, but did you, Oh, I'll send you, Hey, I'll text you some pictures. Me and Kevin went. Okay. I threw it on the IG. I figured you'd have just seen it. on. I there. think I seen, I think I seen some of them. But I might be able to send you a video on Instagram that's like off a penalty kick. I just, it's really good cinematography by me. I just want to point that out. I mean, pat myself I, I, back real quick. Don't pat too hard. I know, don't pat too hard, though. <laughs> but anyway, so I, I got to tell you guys, you know, this started out just me talking about two tennis players that absolutely have blown my mind. And I was so excited. I was over there like, yes, get it. Oh, all right, girl. And my wife literally closed her bedroom door and was like, what is wrong with this fool? And I was like, babe, this little girl about to do something special. I'm trying to tell you. And she's hitting that fucking tennis ball like a mad person. Oh, speaking of that, Ben Shelton, 140 mile an hour serves, dude. How, how do you like that? Faster than a pitcher. Bro, he's faster than... Most people can throw anything by 30 miles easily. <laughs> now, he's using a racket. In all fairness, baseballs come off a bat pretty fast, too. Especially the harder they throw, the faster they come off the bat, actually. Right. So, before we get out of here, I wasn't trying to make a pitch to girl to girl sports, but I got to tell you guys, you're missing out, dog. It's fun. Yeah. I I wish there was a soccer league here in Michigan. Right? And, I mean, I'm going to be honest with you. I love buying, like, like just going full fanboy on, like, lower middle tier, like, season tickets with sports franchises that just they're not even on TV. I love doing that. And you're a jersey nut. Oh man, it's, I, I it does. I bought I bought a jersey at the stadium when I went with my son. I'm not See, even gonna lie. I, I bought a switch. I bought one while I was there, and he was like, "Mom's gonna kill you." And I was like, "Mom's not gonna know about it." And then I was like, "Okay, I gotta wear this home, so Mom's gonna know about it." <laughs> and she said, "I knew you bought a jersey, and you and he bought and you bought him a shirt, and I know how I know it's because you sent me a picture." And I was like, "Oh yeah, shit." I did send you a picture of us with the with the new gear on. But see, listen, you smart. You realize you smart. tell on yourself sometimes. Sometimes. And that's why I don't I can't do anything nefarious. But anyway, but I'm also smart though. Smarter than the average bear, bro. Because you know what I did? I bought her sure. for two. So I bought her something for to wear to the game. 
Yep. If we, so we have a we have a pact. We're not spending any more money because we want to get season tickets for next season. So we made a pact that we're only going to a playoff game if it's here at home. So, and right now we're definitely in a position where we can get in the playoffs and be in the playoffs, but we're in a road playoff position. So we need to really win like three games in a row. And, and I'm talking about pull all three points. And then we probably still need a little help on the front end. But the possibilities there. Well, yeah, but I'm just saying three. Okay, honestly, if we hit, so three points would put us in like fourth or fifth place. So road or home right now we're sitting in like eighth, seventh, eighth place. And, and we'll definitely be on the road. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so that's why I'm like, fuck man, win like two or three games in a road and pat us <laughs> right before the playoffs with a home game. And me and mama are coming. We want to go. Oh, it's going to be great. I want to, I'll get the standing seats because it's going to be cold. So then I'm like, Oh no no no! I want to sit down and bundle up in my blanket. Never mind. Never mind. What am I thinking? But those standing have, seats, like lawn seats. Oh, they were so great. No, the standing seats were great though, man, because they're like right by the goal, and so okay. they're right by the goal. So you have to like pay attention, you know, so you don't get kicked <laughs> with a fucking ball coming at you like fifty miles an hour. You know, that fucking will knock you fucking silly. But anyway, um, especially if you don't expect it, it might knock you the fuck out if you don't expect it. Honestly, just be a <laughs> honor. If you see it coming and can brace for it, you might have a concussion. If you don't see it coming, you might be knocked the fuck out. But anyway, <laughs> we, my friend, have come to a impasse of time. And also, I'm tired. <laughs> I've done some. I've done a couple shows today. I had to do. A, I had to do the football show today too. By the way, shout out to your DJ Lions, bro. I know this ain't that show. But hey, I did good this week. Oh, bro, the games this week that we're doing is the Raven. When is the next one? Football show. They're always every Tuesday at like either five or seven. It just depends on Scotty though. So they move around, but it's always Tuesday. Once in a million days, you know, once every like 20 shows, it might be on a Wednesday, but no, it's usually on a Tuesday. We like yeah. to get it in right after Monday night. Well, I want to try and be in on something this year. Well, you have a reason to be, you have a good team. Actually, do you just want to take my spot and I'll just produce it? Cause I have no fucking reason to breathe or live this season. Are you get shafted, huh? Inventing my cardinal pain, okay? Yeah. Anyway, yeah, we do the show every Tuesday. Just you gotta use, usually ask me like around four, five times to six your time, because by then I usually know what time Scotty's gonna be. Yeah, well, a lot of the problem is I'm usually putting the girls to bed. Hmm. Well, you know, there, there are things that do take, take, take time and they need you and all that, but anyway. Uh, we got to get out of here. Girls take precedent. <laughs> I'm not even mad at you for that. I need to come to Michigan. Damn it. In now. It's time for two birds and one stoner with me, Mr. Trey. That feel good show to get you going. I woke up so motivated. So motivated. I can't even lie. Can't lie. I've been stressing like We're not in a position where we should agree. This isn't an easy subject, and that's okay around here. You see, I got all my game from the streets of California. I'm not questioning anybody's intelligence. I think we're past that. I'm now questioning the ethics of the situation. So what we smoke weed, we're just having fun. <laughs> I can't even believe it. I had to hang up on that guy. He just said he used weed that wasn't decarboxylated to cook. I can't do you today. Yeah, I'm on, they say it. You could ask yourself an insane question. What if I'm not on any side and I just want the truth? His gift is a curse. Forget the earth. He's got the earth to pull his dick from the dirt and fuck the whole universe. I'm not afraid. Maybe we can have a debate over what successful is, but I can tell you one thing. I know I was meant to do this, and no one's going to argue that. He said when you want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe, then you'll be successful. Success. Success.